Hello and welcome back here to the channel. We are staring at the back of an Audi RS4 wagon, that wagon fighter from KNC Giraffe here for today's driver spotlight. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So KNC Giraffe sent me this beautiful Audi wagon, all carbon fiber, NOS Energy Drinks logo, KNC all over the glass and the seats, all in it, definitely in a very beautiful model. I love the carbon fiber look and I love the texturing of the carbon fiber and everything of that nature. I love how the back half is covered in glass and then it's vented out with the whole back end. Definitely something you don't normally see in you know a drift car but this thing is done very well the model is very gorgeous got that uh nice looks like parts shops max and field suspension going on back there and then the interior is definitely we got a fuel cell safe back there looks like a fire suppression or nitrous bottle it might be both in there somewhere definitely a very good and amazing looking model oh there's a the fire extinguisher so that's got to be nice. That is a Nitrous Express. So this car is definitely a very gorgeous looking car, but we're not here to just look at it. We're also here to drive it and see how this thing reacts. That big V8 poking out of the hood. This is definitely something I'm excited when he said, would you like to give my wagon fighter a shot? I said, yes, please. So without further ado, let's go drive this thing. So we are on a tune that he did send me. So we are gonna run it how he sent it, maybe adjust boost pressures and things of that nature. Cause I noticed that uh, when we were first, it's down at like 50% boost. So we're gonna run it. The car does have over a thousand horsepower. So we're gonna heat up the tires. We're at Bushido Circuit, Texas, the old Texas course with the outer zone. So we're gonna heat up these necks and tires that are on here. Oh, this car sounds good. Definitely uh, sounds amazing. So let's get the wheel cam turned on for you guys. Get the wheel cam turned on. Get the tires a little bit more roasted up in here. This thing's definitely a big girl. So we're gonna need to uh, be careful of that last wall. Definitely a uh, very glossy American flag on the top. So let's, let's go full send with the setup he sent me. Fourth gear. Kick it in. Reach out to the outer zone a little bit. Kind of come back in. I think we may need to up the boost a little bit for this track. Cut it back across. A little left foot break there. Into the wall ride. Definitely so much grip in the front. Able to pull that back in. I, I, I'm impressed. Like for a first run out, that was a very impressive run. I think we're going to bump the boost up a little bit for that power alley because I feel like the boost needs to be a little bit higher for that power alley. Then again, you know, the setup is very dialed. The way what setup he sent me with suspension settings and tires and everything like that. Definitely a very well set up car. A little more boost. Kick it in. Reach out to the outer zone. Should have been out there sooner. I definitely feel like we have the power now to do the power alley. Gentle transition, a little left foot break. Oh, very hard, but managed to be able to keep that. That car was able to keep that on that snap. I'm definitely having a blast with this car. I think we need to go up to 100 boost just to see what it does because, well, we have the power. Let's just throw it up there. His tune at the 50, 40, 50 boost does feel good, and it's uh, very manageable. But let's see what happens when we go. No fifth gear. Got it. Oh my god. Power on command. Oh yeah, just banging off fourth gear. We're probably gonna pop this motor if we keep doing this. Don't wanna pop this man's motor. He was definitely nice enough to let me get the keys or the little push button for this car. That is extremely powerful car and it's Definitely rowdy. I love the look of it. Like I said, the carbon fiber and you know, lost energy drinks and everything. Very Chris Forsberg reminisce, but uh, it's definitely 
a fun car and I'm super thankful that he allowed me access to this car to give it a rip and uh, kind of you know have this car for the day oh yeah no handbrake throw it in the wall alley there we go modulate throttle to come back in right on the clip this car is rowdy so I've driven a lot of handfuls of different cars, but I've never driven a wagon like this, and this car is so much fun to drive. I think we need to take it where we always take every car, but we're gonna try and drift a bank. We may have to go up to 100 boost, but we're also gonna run out of, out of gear. Oh, I feel like this car could do it if we put up the gears. Let's see what gears we can get into this. Maybe we can run a really big bank run on this car. So let's go check maybe into gears. 205. I don't think we're going to go that high, but we're going to go up to a 2 or down to a 2.9. Go up to 100% boost. Oh, super boggy. But once that boost kicks in, whew, Texas Motor Speedway, we're going to try to run this bank. See. These cars are not meant for banks. <laughs> Man, I was hoping we'd be able to, but the car just has so much grip that I don't think we're going to be able to break loose. So let's hit Irwindale, see what it can do on the bank. So let's go line up at Irwindale. So we're going to hit up Irwindale because you know this is always where we end every one of these driver spotlights running on my favorite track Irwindale so we're gonna run the tune that he gave us see how we can do on the banks of Irwindale I don't think doing 160 170 miles an hour on Texas was a good idea kind of uh, biffed the car into the wall sorry I can't see hope uh, hope you're not mad I wrecked your guys car but it's okay we, we, it'll buff out all right so Irwindale we gotta definitely warm up our tires I keep forgetting to always do that gotta warm up these tires because we do run full damage and tire wear and everything on these episodes to make sure we're getting the full effect because they run that in competition. So, if you guys want to get in on the driver spotlight episode, make sure you guys hit me up on Discord. So let's uh, let's go full send, Irwindale. The log you have to start by, that was all me. Clutch kick it in. Oh yeah, oh that holds very nice, that holds a very nice line. We need a little bit smidge more power, maybe up a percentage in the boost, but this car gets down, this car's rowdy and fun. It's a very stable car, and you know what? You would think because it's so big that it would have this weird transitional weight, but the car's pretty stripped out in the back, so you know, the weight is, not much back there so it's very very well balanced and it feels super good we're gonna up the boost to 60 and we're gonna go for another full set and see what we can do with this car we're gonna try to get all the way up on that wall fourth gear flick in not as close to the wall as I want to be but higher than the first run up on the third hash there Right on the front clip. Oh, almost taking the back bumper off this car. Or this wagon, I should say. KNC Giraffe, definitely with a very solid wagon. Something you don't see every day. Definitely super glad and thankful that he allowed me the chance to get behind the wheel of his, you know, car and, you know, kind of give my impressions on it and. I can officially say I definitely like this car. It's very stable, very handles very well, and it's uh, it looks very visually appealing. So one final run here for today's episode. Flick initiation, no handbrake, running way low on the bank, but you know what? It's fine. Massage our way back up. Clutch kick there. No handbrake there. Just a little clutch kick and a little left foot brake. 
Oh, this car, this car gets down. You don't need handbrake at all on this car. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of you are in the description box below. Once again, a big thank you to Kate and C Giraffe for hooking me up with the chance to drive his car. Super thankful to everybody who's getting in on this driver spotlight. If you guys want to get in, make sure you guys message me on Discord. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.